Hi. Yeah, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm sure you're wondering how I was able to make over 1 billion coins from the single nether update. And it's an interesting story. So a week ago, it was a normal day, and then boom. The nether update popped up in like a Wednesday. And after a while of bug fixing and rolling out the update part by parts, the island finally opened. First thing I did was complete Elle's quest and try to rush Kudra. Kudra was extremely profitable. However, this was impossible as admins fucked up and bosses were disabled. If bosses disabled, the only things you can do included fishing, blaze slayers, and mob grinding. But I was special and didn't want to do any of them. Instead, I chose to focus on hitting that subscribe and like button. We did something you should do right now. Come on, that was pretty good. Hit it, right? The thing I focused on was something different. Sulfur. Sulfur is a new thing added and, well... It's like cocaine to piglins. The barbarian factions use sulfur to turn themselves from pigs into pig piglins, or basically speaking, get themselves higher. And sulfur was very expensive on a on bazaar. It was 10 to 60k the first day the nether update dropped. Now there are two main ways to get sulfur. You can either kill corrupted mobs or mine sponge blocks that happen to spawn on the ground. Sponge blocks spawn after a volcanic eruption, which happens every 7-ish days. This was a great way to get sulfur, but it was very popular and as such, hard to find and did not make a whole lot of money. You could also kill corrupted mobs, which spawned occasionally, kinda like the new runic mobs, but slightly different. However, this was very slow, and without adding any new items, this would take forever. Luckily, there are two items that could help with this. Corrupted soil, and corrupted totem. Corrupt Soria was found in the Mycelium collection, and when placed in a minion, would turn all mobs into their corrupted form. Corrupted Totem was also an option, where when you place it down, all mobs in the vicinity would turn into their corrupted form. However, with the Corrupted Totem, you needed Sulfur Collection, and I did not have a high enough Sulfur Collection, so I decided to go for the Corrupt Soil. After grinding it out and spending a lot of money, I had 28 Corrupt Soils in Tier 11 Slime Minions, it only cost me a measly 150 million coins. I'm joking, that's a lot of money. However, an issue quickly arose when the minions summoned the mobs, they would not generate sulfur unless killed by a player, meaning I had to kill them. Luckily, I have experience finding AFK methods, and I decided to use Full Witherborn, which will kill all the mobs around me every 30 seconds. With this setup, I was getting around 300 sulfur every single minute. Prices for silver were around 5,000 coins per, so I was making to 1 to 1.5 million coins every minute for the first few hours. In total, after like 20 to 40 hours of AFK, I made 280 million coins. Then, when prices started to clash, I sold my corrupt soils and ended up losing like 25 to 50 million coins. In total, I made 225 million coins from AFK and sulfur. But now, I needed to find a new way to do money. And I refuse to farm or do slayers, so I needed to find another AFK method. The new method was Gobblegoo Minions. And yes, Gobblegoo Minions are a real thing other than a fun word to say. Gobblegoo. Gobblegoo Minions produce Gobblegoo, so I decided to buy 28 of them. For 5 million coins per. They cost 180k to craft right now. Keep that in mind. Gobblegoo minions have a very slow time, and you need to place a bunch of minions next to each other to increase their speed, and you also need to place fuel. However, with fuel, you only get, like, one in every five drops to be Gobblegoo, unless you use more expensive fuel, which costs a lot of money at the time. But there is a way to bypass this, is if they don't die to the minions, so if you kill them or some natural force decides to kill them, then they drop 100% Gobblegoo. And they're blazes, so I decided to use a water drowning trap where they would spawn into water and then die and it would be filtered through some hoppers and I could obtain the Gabagool and sell for around 15,000 coins per. I did this for around 24 hours and made 115 million coins before I single-handedly crashed prices from 15k to 2k and I had to sell my minions. By this time, bosses were finally released and after completing the Dean's stupid ass quest, where I became an errand boy and I had to find chickens for a living, I was finally able to do Kudra, after I had enough reputation. And uh, I ran Kudra a lot, like over 150 times. And let me tell you, Kudra is very, very profitable, with three drops being worth over 100 million coins, 
and 12 drops being worth 2 to 5 million coins. And I got a lot of loot during these runs. So much that in fact I made an entire video about all the loot I got. Speaking of which, go check that out top right. But in total, I made 550 million coins from the update. And most of that came from the Inferno book. However, I just stopped doing them as I ran out of Kuja keys and I couldn't get any more loot. And bosses at this time, for some reason, were disabled again because admins did an oopsie whoopsie and fucked up. So I came up with an idea. I was going to do something I call Crimson Runs. Crimson Runs, in short, is like frag runs but for Kudra. In Kudra, there's a free chest and you get a free chest every time. No matter if you die, no matter what, you get a free chest. And free chests include an enchantment book, an attribute chart, and 1-3 to three Crimson Essence. The whole point of this method was to get into the run, deal 5 damage to the tentacles using the cannons, and then die. Then you'll be able to open up the chest and get books. Now you made profit around 75% of the time and can make anywhere from at the very worst you could lose 20k, at the very best you could make 3 million coins. So I was able to get 25 to 13 million coins an hour and in total I made around 75 million coins from doing Crimson Running. After this, I decided to dabble in some talisman reforges, specifically equipment reforges. There were a few on Bazaar that were going for 5 million coins plus, but they weren't worth 5 million coins. The only reason they were worth that much is because no one knew how to get them. These items are called the Shiny Prism, the Meteor Shard, and whatever the hell the Magma thingy is, I forget what it's called. These were all found in collections including Blaze, Glowstone, Ghast, and Magma Cream, and were acquired items from the Nether, such as Tentacle Meat and Gazing Pearls, that no one really knew how to get, but because of my brain, I knew how to. These were obtained from killing flares, ghasts, and magma cubes. The best method to do was to kill the flares and craft up the shiny prisms. Oh my god, they hurt like hell. Like, they hurt more than your dad leaving to get milk. Like, a lot of hurt. But after some practice in RNG, I was able to do it efficiently. I was able to get a ridiculous 50 to 70 million coins per hour. Like, what the fuck? That's stupid. However, I didn't enjoy doing them, and I was like, yeah, I'll never need this much money. So I stopped and only made 135 million coins. I kind of needed the money and wish I had grinded it out more. So I ended up blowing 500 mil plus, because I'm stupid. By stupid, I mean a genius too big for your brain to understand. So in total from all these methods, I made 1.1 billion coins from another update. And if you're wondering why I don't have 1.1 billion coins on me, it's because, as I said, I did a few genius maneuvers that are beyond your brain capacity to understand and ended up giving away money to the auction house. And I, so I spent 300 mil plus on crimson armor, 350 mil from being a stupid idiot, and then 150 mil from crafting some things that I could have crafted for a lot cheaper. So, you know, that, that's just, I'm just God. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.